going to solve for multiplication and division in mod. Now, just as we've done before for addition and subtraction, it's simply just putting the signs in a circle. So for multiplication, we'll have x in a circle, and for division, we'll have a division sign in a circle. So that is simply how to write that in mod. So if you see any signs like this, you automatically know you're solving for for mod. So we're going to be solving for multiplication. So for multiplication, we know the sign is this. Now we're going to solve some examples. So we're going to start with 2 times 4. Everything we're solving is in mod 5 for B. We're solving for 4 times 2. So we're, we're doing this to check if the answers will be correct. Like if both, we're using the same numbers to see if this will actually be equal to this. For C, we'll have 4 times 5. Everything is in mode 5. So let's solve. Now the idea when solving for multiplication it's almost the same thing as you do with mod with addition. So we can try both ways. The one where we use the where we use the expression method and the one where we just divide. So we're going to be solving the division the one where we just simply divide. So we have two times four, which should be equal to two times four, which is equal to eight. So what we do next is divide 8 by the mod, which is 5. So we have 8 divided by 4, which is equal to, sorry, by 5, since this is mod 5. So 8 divided by 5. So this is this will be equal to 1 remainder 3. So we this will be equal to 3 in mod 3, in mod 5. So for B, we'll solve 4 times 2 so that will be equal to 4 times 2 which is equal to 8 which is equal to 8 and so when we divide So when we divide 8 by the mod, which is 5, it will be equal to 1 remainder 3. So we can see that 4 times 2 and 2 times 4, even in mod, is equal to the same thing. So we have 3 in mod 5. So from our, for our basic mathematics, we, can, we know that um, multiplication is cumulative so even in module even in modulus multiplication is still cumulative so let's solve for c now for c we have four times let's try and see what we have again four times five so 4 times 5, this is equal to 4 times 5, which, will be, which is equal to 20. So this will be equal to 20 divided by mod, which is 5. And this will be equal to 4 remainder 0. Now just bear in mind that when we have an answer that is a multiple of the mod, the remainder is always 0. So this will be equal to 0 in mod 5. Let's go over and solve for division. Now for division, division is not the same. You don't, the, the rules don't really apply exactly in, in division. So for division, it's a bit tricky as compared to the rest so we don't solve the same way we have been solving there's a different way of solving 
Now this is because we're still serving in mod 5, just a side note. Now let's have A as an example. So we have 4 divided by 3. And just to check again, for B, we'll have um, 3 divided by 4. Just to see if they're also cumulative. And then for C, we'll have 3 divided by 2. Now, for the first one, now the difference when solving is we we don't go ahead and divide at first because we can only divide when the mod is involved. Because So we just want to make it so that only the mod is dividing. And since 3 is not the mod and these other numbers are not the mod, we cannot go ahead and divide. So what we simply do is we, we equate it to x. So we say 4 divided by 3 in mod mod 5 will be equal to x so that's equivalent to x and then what we do next is multiply this by x so any number on this side we multiply it by x so what we have next is 3x is equal to 4 now since 4 is a residue in mod 5 we add 5 to it to make it a dividend so then we simply just add 5 so this becomes 3x is equal to 4 plus 5 so this will be equal to 9 so then it will have 3x 3x will then be equal to 9 now we divide both sides by 3 x will then be equal to 3 so we can say that this will be equal to so we can say that 3 so hence a 4 divided by 3 is equal to 3 in mode 5 now for the next one we have 3 divided by 4 let's see if this is actually cumulative let's check if a and b are cumulative so we have for b same pattern we have 3 divided by 4 is equivalent to x so that means that 4x Will be equal to 3 now we add 5 which is the mod to make it a dividend so we have plus 5 that means 4x will be equal to 8 so when we divide both sides by 3 by 4 x x will now be x will be equal to x will be equal to 2 so from solving over here, x will then be equal to 2. So that means that 3 divided by 4 will be equal to 2 in mod 5. So we can see that this, this is not equal to this. So that means division is not cumulative even in modulus. Now for our final solving, let's solve for C. So for C, we have 3 divided by 2. Now bear in mind, if you have problems, if you, if you still don't understand anything, always feel free to ask. You can comment your questions or you can ask if you're watching this on learn to. So for C, we have 3 divided by 2. So this would be equal to 3 divided by 2. 2 is equivalent to x so it means that 2x is equal to 3 so we have to make this we have to make this a dividend by adding 5 so we have x will be 2x will be equal to 8 so x will be equal to 4 because if we divide both sides by 2 
so x will be equal to 4 so we can see that this is equal to 4 in mode 5 so I've come to the end of this lesson. If you have any questions or you have any parts where you don't understand, always feel free to comment your questions if you are watching on YouTube or you can ask your question if you are watching on YouTube. If this video was helpful, feel free to like and share to your friends who may also need this video. So thank you for watching.